All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be doing some practice for round one of the BlizzCon. All Blizzards all the time, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some real heavy hitters in this lobby. In no particular order, starting with the Peatman, Flying the Dragonfly of Bhutan, Kill Peace Strategy VCC, Grandmaster 2394, Gone 2346 and 781. Plague's Purple. Flying the Flag of USA. Check him out on Twitch. Check him out on YouTube, a.k.a. Spud Topped. Ranked as a novice because he is absolutely not telling the truth. 10,347 games, 6,416 hours gone. 3799 and 1467. Playing as blue in disguise from Finland, we got Uncle Traveling Maddie. Hello, Maddie. Holy shit, that's a lot of games. Hope you're doing well, sir. Very nice to see you. We got Zernov playing Zorn from Serbia. Expert level player at the moment. 291 hours gone, 223 and 343. We got Herschel Nahib playing the Fag of Fiji. Intermediate player. 29 hours in the game gone, 13 and 53. And finally, Alonza Banik, beginner rank player. Grandmaster in 1v1s. 289 hours in the game gone, 47 and 237. Ladies and gentlemen, please ready up. We're going to be practicing for BlizzCon. It's going to be fun. This is the brainchild of Driz, a tournament organizer extraordinaire. I'm big fan of all of the hard work he's been doing. So we're playing fixed world domination with 90 second clock. Expert automated bot unstable portals. Yes, Blizz, yes, alliances. I'm going to say that if there was ever a man to trust with an alliance from the bottom of my heart, it would be Uncle Traveling Maddie. Uh, <laughs> we all know that a heart for him is good as gold. We also get one from Zernov. Good to know. I am going dead last. Ooh, we get a heart from Studly Spudly. I would never recommend anyone hit damn purples, but you know, I will say he's a very, very talented player. So, okay. If I was Pete, where would Pete go? I was Pete, and I am. I mean, I'm going to take this bonus, obviously. All right, this is mine. This bonus gets taken on the first turn, I'm pretty sure. But then what? Where's my second position? I'm going to want a second position exterior, two position play, probably. What's Matty doing out there? He doesn't want to hit a spud five. Okay, I don't blame him. He goes for a turn one break. He goes for a steal? Fucks up black shit, right? Or he just fucks up his shit. Beep, beep a deep a deep. How you doing on balance splits? What's up? Uh, what's up, Motor2424? Love your videos. Watch them almost every day. Keep up the good content. I certainly will try. Um, what's up, Knesset13? Hello, first time for you. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome, guys. Oh, we get the heart from Herschel. And let's see where he goes. And Zernov's not happy. Oh, I mean, you got that sweet bonus here, right? Let's see. I think he goes pop, pop. Right? He goes pop, pop like that. Yeah. Bingo. And then what, though? Zernov is crying the blues. He's like, where am I going to go? Where does Zernov go? Uh, do you leave a two in there? What the? Bleh. Bleh. All right. What would you do if you're Zernov? Okay. Oh, Zernov just put shit everywhere? There's shit everywhere. Oh, no. Okay. I see that. Okay. That's fine. So I should probably show you guys the bonuses. That would help on these settings. Uh, right. Aw. Oh. Cool. Cool. 
Okay. Uh, the bonus is an Operation Atom, or thus. This is a really cool space battle between Earth and Mars. A Utopia, Planitia, plus four. Sabatia is a two for three with the Blizzard. Promethea Terra is a three for three. Galacticons, plus three. Dense Defense Fleet, three, plus three. Defense Fleet. Xylons, Defense Fleet, blah, 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 plus twos. Lithupia, plus three. Bismuthia, plus three. New Rope, plus four. Tungstania, plus four. And Mercuriopia. Plus three, if you can hold it. Fuck, are those a bunch of tongue twisters? I like this map a lot. The blizzards change this map drastically. I figure that's a big part of what Driz was going for. We want uh, we want maps to be dynamic, blizzard wise. Thank you, Hackett Man, for the prime. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay, but Jen is going to be in one place. See, I don't want to be in one place. I want to be in multiple places. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Now, nah, Magenta does the homie play. Thank you, Magenta. The homeliest. Hey, Duck Drake and Rum, what's quacking, bro? It's a Barack O'Brien. Nice to see everyone today. Did that wrong? Yes. Ooh, okay, and the unstable portals do make things very interesting, don't they? I assume this tournament is scored with... Uh, uh, placements and bounties. Marcellus, am I right? I hope Marcellus is still here. Placements and bounties, right? Similar to FFA. Random username says, unpopular opinion, Europe advanced progressive capital is very spawn heavy. Uh, I mean, to an extent, but I think the, there's a lot of skill in navigating the blizzards in everyone else's position. Scoring same as usual. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So really, the shtick with this is uh, all blizzards all the time, right? Spud's going to steal that bonus. It's two threes to do so. Board's going to get organized in the first five-ish turns. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one of these, eh? One of these. I like your cloak. This is a new look for Spud. He he, uh, he picked up one of the Dune avatars. I like your cloak. It's very like snuggly. He's like feeling comfortable. Advancement system changes something cool after R3. Oh yeah? What does it change to? Bro, I love the frame. I wish I had a new avatar to go with, though. No? You're sick of the wizard? Arch wizard Trigon? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, is this ever a sticky situation?
So what's going to happen? Black is, okay, black hats to the four, they want exterior position, make cards in this towards version of Africa. Okay. Okay, Maddie sets. Maddie takes the eight trade. All right, so the way this game goes, top 60 break into three brackets, high, middle, low. Play that way for three rounds. After each round, there's some shuffling between the brackets, and your goal is to be in the high bracket after our six. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck any of those words mean. There's a graphic that explains it better. Sure. Thank you. I, <laughs> that melted. That wall of text melted my brain. Hey, okay, what does Spud do? Yeah, I assumed. I assumed you were. So Magenta's going to use the portals to do this. Take another bonus. Problem with that is they're going to be behind me, and I'm not going to like that. But I trust them, right? Because they're my ally. Graphic is in the FFA announcements channel on the GM server. GM server. FA announcements channel. There's way too many channels on the server, dude. I can't even find it. I can't find the FFA announcements channel. There's too many channels. There it is. Way up at the top. Now I can't find the link. There's too much. It's fucking... My, my brain does not work like this. And I know you're like, oh, your brain doesn't work at all, but it, like, it doesn't work like this. Sorry, black. Sorry, bro. Bounties and placements. Yeah, GG, man. Oh, we got a link. Ford Mustang Bobby. Hey, Blue, can I play you in a 1v1? <laughs> Looking for 1v1s. All right, Sam. She's back. I missed. I don't know if you, uh, if you heard my question earlier. I see a Shania Twain karaoke redeem in the docket. I would like to ask you what your second favorite Shania Twain option is because I've already done man. I feel like a woman, but I would love to do something else by Shania. The pride of Timmins, Ontario, the second most beautiful woman to ever come out of there. Other than this guy I did scuba lessons with Chaz, his mom was absolutely smoking, but I digress. Um, Hold on, I'll get you one. Okay, good. It was a good one. You missed Man, I Feel Like a Woman. But there are some bangers from Shania that I'd be happy to regale you with. How you doing, little banana? All right, we got Herschel in the game. Throwing down the 10 trade. Looks like we are attacking Zernov? Spud. We're attacking Spud with that play. Oh, no. We're not attacking it. Okay. Whew. Pete's mom is greater than Chaz's mom. Thank you, Pepper Simba. Um, 
F- whose bed have your boots been under? I don't know that one. I'm not into the, I guess I'm not into deep enough into the Shania B sides. Give me one of the singles. I know, I'm sorry I'm giving you too many constraints. How don't you know that? Should I know this fucking song? Whose bed have your boots been under? I've never heard. The, why are you yelling? <laughs> why are you yelling at me? The Peatman. I can see that she's upset. <laughs> I know. Listen, I, I will yell. I want to sing it for you. I do. I sincerely do. Okay. All right. So if we don't hit them purples now, we never will. I don't think anyone can kill Bud. Could I feed him to Maddie? Am I diabolical enough to feed him to Maddie? No, I would never. I would never. I would, I would never, Spud. I would never. Black, black, you say? But I did that already. I, I I gotta say at a glance these settings very interesting. The the blizzards will change the board. The, the problem is the game's gonna stalemate on like four or five players. And then what? So how are we gonna force the action? Is there a some is there some kind of mechanism to end the game? Is there a time limit? What are we doing for uh for when games go to time? Random user said, I asked this during a prior stream when you thought, who you thought was the best player in the world, and I said Arco, I did. Uh, do you believe that it is likely there's someone who's even better at Arco out there? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, there's likely many, and people will go through a life cycle, right? Arco didn't start out being the best. I recall a time where Arco was not as good as he is today. But at some point, he became the best player, in my opinion, and he is now head and shoulders above anybody else. As far as we can rank, the best the best we can come up with. Spud says Arco sucks. Yeah, that means the Arco sucks now. Listen, the Arco sucks thing. I just don't understand why you would disparage the good name of Arconius Maximus. Unbalances all you can see are alliances. Then in the game, well, is there a uh, if if Marcellus is still here, um, I would like to know if there is a mechanism, if there's a hard time limit or something to that effect. Tom freaking Cruz. Oh, snap. I caught a stream. <laughs> According to Friends of Risk, Arco has unlocked every achievement, proving he doesn't suck. There are Friends of Risk achievements now. I should check this out. All right, what do the achievements look like? Okay, so I click on Pete, what happens? Nothing. How do you get how do you get the achievements? You have to create a, a friends of risk. Yeah, I have a friend. Oh, I'm not logged in. I see. Log in. What? Do I not have I not created a friends of risk account? What? Thank you. 
Okay, so I am, I am, I have a friends of account. Log in, email address. Making real interesting television now. Logging into friends of risk. Log in. Okay. And then what? No specific standby rules in place. Okay, so these games will stand in it and they will go hours? When do I play? Oh shit, when am I playing this? Uh, BlizzCon, BlizzCon, BlizzCon. When am I playing this? Oh, thank you, Unbalanced. Thank you for pinging me. Uh, okay, round one, group 18. Oh, we don't have a time yet. Oh, fuck. Okay. We do not have a time yet for stalemate. Okay. Bring it up to Dre's. I haven't touched these settings yet, but a pretty good example of how it will stalemate. Oh, yeah. This is exactly what's going to happen. These games will stalemate on four or five players. So what you're going to want to do, in my opinion, um, feel free to have Drez fucking reach out to me. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have uh, a 90 minute to a um, a two hour clock at which time an alternate win condition becomes in effect. Something like hold a certain number of bonuses or kill a player, right? Make it assassin, just some kind of mission risk to end the game. Uh, what the fuck are we doing here? I'm kind of in the driver's seat because I'm generating the most. Okay, I do this. I feel pretty good. All right. Tom freaking Cruz, thank you for the bits and the sub, sir. Thank you so much. Thousand Roaches Gracias. I know you get this a lot, but I super enjoy the content. Went from intermediate a couple of seasons ago, top 300, 400 this season. Really enjoyable and informative content. Thank you, Tom freaking Cruz. You don't owe me a dime, sir, and I'm very grateful that you would choose to spend your time with me let alone your precious biddies. So thank you. I give what I can. We're trying our best. <laughs> we are absolutely trying our best. Good night, Becky, with the good hair. That's early. It's very early times. Um... <laughs> Apologies for not knowing the Shania Twain track that you like. Uh, yeah, no roulette. That would be fun. Go blue here, maybe? Well, it's just dominoes at this point. Whoever takes a bounty gets killed next, and then the whole game falls. But when players choose to fall, it determines... It is determined by how... How much they think they have a chance, right? Thank you, Real Zenu, with the Prime. Thank you so much. Okay, and Spud is, yeah, take a card, okay. No card for purple. Oh, he's going to take a card. P thanks for your tips. I've reached expert this season. Road to GM incoming. You know it. King Nastro. Uh-oh. Ooh, Magenta putting troops in the corner. I like that. What if bounty points progressed? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, different types of settings need different types of incentives. So stalemate, fixed world dom needs more, more juice from the bounties. I listen. I like fixed world on. The problem is fixed world on with good players. You're going to end up with this, right? There's no amount of blizzard is going to destabilize the board to the point where kills are ever profitable past the second set of trades or even worthwhile, worth doing, right? So it has to be like incentivizing suicides essentially. Are you doing zero cool? Just pick your fave and we'll go with that. 
think you need to look up who's who's bad of your boost but under very catchy tune okay i will i promise no one told you, you look like tom hardy they have i forget who this man is tom hardy he's so much more jacked than me though he's just like okay tom hardy hardy har har Uh -huh. Oh. I think the people are just letting me get away with murder at this point. What? What's the matter? I gave you, you can hit it again. You can trade with me. It's fine. Hit me. Hey, hit me. Right. Oh, oh, who's hitting them purples? Who's hitting them purple? Uncle Traveler Maddie. Uncle Traveler, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. If you, I was trying to make a casual public lobby with friends in it. Couldn't find my lobby. Yeah, you're not allowed to do casual public. Only casual private with friends. Otherwise, you will get in trouble. I watched your World Championship episode one looking for a pro risk game. I've now binged them all. Good content. Thank you. That is the goal. Ooh, Spud goes for a break. Oh, Spud goes for a double break. He says, let's pick on Magenta. Hey, thank you, Papa. Here's some any more. Thank you so much. It's a feed, yeah. Well, he didn't actually hit him is the problem. Spud just broke his bonuses. <laughs> he didn't actually hit the man. Yeah. Now it's Smackerino time for Spudley. This is what I was expecting. People work together to kill someone. Yeah, it might happen, but I think in a uh, in a competition, you see, uh, the issue is how do you do, how do you make that determination? Right, there isn't really a mechanism to Spud. Says, Spud wants me to team on pink. <laughs> but pink's been my friend all game, Spud. He's been my friend. He's been my buddy. How could I betray a loyal ally? How could I be so callous monster, really? The callousness that, that's surprising to me. We treat the lives of our fellow risk takers. But it says, who hasn't been a loyal ally? <laughs> the, the cynical attitude, sir, I don't know. I, re I mean... The horrible, horrible cynicism you show your Oh show your fellow players. That's not looking good. I find myself greeting people with what is up, risk takers. Yeah, GG man.
Bro has three bonos, 20 troop lead, and everyone battles amongst themselves. <laughs> I don't know if I missed the explanation, but who's on my shirt? This is S Club. Were you around in the late 90s, early 2000s? Do you like saccharine British pop music? Well, then you're come to the right place. S Club 7. <laughs> I saw them in concert like last month, and I got a, I got a T-shirt. There's five of them left. You see it now? Yeah. Sam knows S Club. I figured you would know. Or do you know S Club? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. The smack burrito on Zernov was unexpected. Zernov tasted it too. <laughs> oh no. Zernov definitely, definitely tasted. Oh no. Hi, <laughs> Chihuahua. Well, I'll tell you one thing, folks. If this happens to me, <laughs> if, this, <laughs> if this happens to me in the real game, the old Peepman will be, I don't know, as you say, uh, pig and shit. Huh? Oh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is this game? I feel bad. I feel a little guilty about all the death and destruction I have wrought. Yeah, Maddie's in. All right. Okay. This one off says no. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Ends the game, I guess. All right, we got we got second and we got second and three. <laughs> Brutal settings, man. Oh, triple tap the twenty one. Yes, I did. This this kid progressed and played correctly. It was not played correctly. It was played suicidally. GG, fellas. All right, well, do I try? Cool pathing path on this map, too. So I should slider. Oh, I fucked up my pathing. Okay. We let Maddie hold a single bonus. We're at 62 to 55. 
He has, yeah, I saw that too. I saw it too, spot but too late. Um, okay, okay. I mean, maybe. And I'm behind in the in the portals. No, he's got his. Hey, he's got his. All right, kill me, kill me now. I wonder who will win. It's Maddie. It's gonna be Maddie. Get him. Shouldn't have hit Zernov so hard. <laughs> Zernov's like, I know, you shouldn't have. I just wanted it to be over. Revenge! What happened to all my troops, man? All right, good game, guys. Good thing it's a 90 second turn. <laughs> Revenge! How do you how do you guys tap? Is there like a key that brings up this menu? How do you guys like do it on PC so fast? Yeah, how do you do that? How do you pop pop pop? I can't do that. It's like a key bind or something. Start. Enemy spotted. Hello, Pete. I just wanted to hello it up to you, my friend. Hope you're having a great night. Congratulations on another successful KPO2! Way to go, big dog. Thank you, enemy. <laughs> Appreciate the kindness. The button on the bottom left. Left click the button. Left click button. But like, how do you go? How do you like, how do you move the mouse from left to right, from left to right, from left to right that fast? Like, that's the issue. Can you show me your mouse? I spent way too long figuring out how to scroll lock. I'll show you. So, camera, wheel, roll, makes a clicky sound, button, wheel spins. Really? See the difference? And that's how you can split really fast. Ladies and gentlemen, 